Hey guys, Isaac here. What's happened to this world? Like, I just got done watching Jesse, Jesse and Mike's recent video and I left a comment saying that I'm not gonna watch your content anymore if you're gonna be posting this Cheeto girls on face surprise stuff. What happened to their classic videos like Giant Snake or like, I don't know, Giant Octopus, like, or like, you know, like snakes in a car. It's like, what happened to those great videos? Now they're making like this weird stuff and they don't even care about like what they make anymore. They're just doing it for money. That's all they're doing now. I told them if you if you're doing it for the money, don't do it on YouTube. Go and do it on a TV show. And and uh, I thought that we had a savior, uh, Brandon Rogers, who he does not censor anything. And that's what I liked about him. He was ambitious about it. He was he didn't care about being demonetized because he does he doesn't do it for the money. He does it for the, the creativity, he does it for the fun. You know, the entertainment. But he dropped a video recently. Every word was censored in it. I don't like it. And last Halloween, a few months ago, on his Halloween video, it was an attack on how people censor everything. What the hell? That makes zero sense. And like, channels like The Amazing Atheist and stuff that used to be like entertaining, it's like, nobody even watches his videos anymore. It's... I don't know what happens to these, like, YouTubers who, like, blow up on YouTube, like, a few years ago, and then all of a sudden, oh, nobody's watching them. Like, for example, like, uh, Toby Turner, like, no one watches him anymore because people thought that he was abusive of his girlfriend or something. I don't know what, what that was all about. And I, I used to watch his, his skits. They were funny. I reacted to them. I reacted to a few of his songs on my channel, uh, my old channel that you can't see anymore because, uh, somebody... I guess YouTube took it down. Um, I just don't... It's like no one's being ambitious anymore. Same as like with music. No one's being ambitious with music anymore. It's all the same hip-hop. The songs are all about the same. Hotline Bling, for example. Old Town Road. Like... No one's doing anything different. They're sticking, they're in their little comfort zone, and they don't try to get out and be ambitious whatsoever. They just want to sit there, and they just want to just do whatever they're doing, and make money. That's all they care about is making money. They don't care about their art. It takes 20 people to write these songs. If you read, like, the liner notes for, like, these pop songs, they have, like, 20 or 30 people writing them. Does it take that much to, to write... And you're coming on my cell phone. It doesn't take 20 people to write a song like that. And I don't know. What else? Yummy Mash. I, uh, that was like one of the first YouTubers I watched. Um, it was like 2013. Uh, I watched his, his video about, it was Hotel 666, it was like this indie horror game, and, um, I really liked the, 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 when he plays the horror games, cause that's like, that's what he's known for, basically, and he was really good on YouTube, until, like, this one year in January, they said that he was, it's like, it's like all these YouTubers, like, all their channels go dead, like when they say like like oh you, you, he was sending you photos to this thirteen year old girl, it's like, who cares? You're you're caring about someone who's, and like how does that stuff get out to the public? That's what confuses me even more. How how do people know about this? How do how do they know? No, but anyway, after that his channel just would like 
did. I'm still subscribed to him today. But he... He was so... So confused what happened. It's just... What happened to, like, the great, like... 2009 YouTube Nostalgia 009 Sound System GTA San Andreas Alien Myth. You know? It's like, what happened to those good days? What happened to me at the zoo? Smosh. That's another thing, Smosh. Ever since Anthony left, it's been just... Terrible. It's been terrible. And... I just can't believe. And it's like, I don't even know how this stuff really happened. Like, that's the point. I don't know how all these great YouTubers, all the ones that I watch, you know, they they had a short time on YouTube. They were there for about a year, year two, three, maybe. And then they just fizzle out. No reason. They just, they just fizzle out. I know that people have highs and lows of their career, but it seems like the higher you go, the bigger you fall. I just don't. Like, uh, I don't know, like the Juggernauts. He was like my favorite YouTuber for like, God, three years. <laughs> I used to be obsessed with him. Because I like his content. He, um, when he, when he does a series, when, when he does, yeah, when he does a series of videos, for example, My Virtual Escape or the Psycho series, Devil Inside, he doesn't censor anything. But now if he's doing a new series, it's, I, it's like, The Devil Inside Season 3, that's concluded now. He completely quit YouTube, by the way, and I think that's a, pr a pretty good move because YouTube, it's like, he's going on to story fire. You know, story fire is about, like, the rebellion. So no one reads my crap on story fire. I don't know why. I post great content. No one wants to read it. I suggest you go download story fire and then look for me. My name's Isaac Hooker. I write a lot of action-adventure stories. Some, a little bit of drama. I'm trying to get into the horror um, side of things. But yeah, so he completely quit YouTube. That's the one thing that I liked that he did. But anyway, in the third season of The Devil Inside, when they just got done doing, they censored everything. There was not, I went, I watched the entire thing. There was not one time where there wasn't a word that was censored. But on Storyfire, you can. You can show anything you want. You can, you know, you can be nude, you can... You know, you can swear, but it's like, you don't make money off it. And that's the thing that I like about it. You don't need to make money. Unless it's like a, hu a, like a huge project, then yeah. If you were like me, I would want to make my money back from a project. For example, if I wanted to make an album, you know, that's going to cost like a few thousand dollars. I want to get my few thousand dollars back, and that's okay. If I get a few extra, if I get a you know, a few more thousand, good, and now I have something to spend. But don't do it just for the money. Do it for the art. If you're going to make money off it, get it back. And just say, okay, now I have it back, so that's good. So basically, it's kind of like doing it for free. Well, not really, but you know what I mean. You know, don't just do it for like, like, like oh yeah, yeah, we got, we got the money now from this project. Yeah, what's the name of the, what's the name of the movie? Yeah, whatever. Well, oh my god, look at all the money I got, bro. I'm gonna buy like fifteen like Ferraris. It's like I just I don't even think it's like an entertainment. I now I'm now that I'm thinking about it, I think it's like globally. Globally, nobody is doing anything at all. Like. Man. 
the government doesn't help at all. I <laughs> they made they make it worse actually. The government they want to control you. They want to spy on you. They're looking at me right now as I record this. It's like they want to control everybody. And they did it a few thousand years ago when they started Christianity. And I've said this before. Like you can see like these politicians, they think like they're so ooh, look at me, I'm so special and they say like God bless America and stuff, or in God we trust. Like, for example, me, I'm atheist. And I don't care what everybody else believes. I just don't like it, it did, like, I don't have any problem with religion. I just don't like it when it's forced upon people. The government does that <laughs> a lot. Nobody's like taking a stance on like the problems, like the actual problems. Not that, not, 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 I'm not saying like, 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 oh, these, these prices are going up, blah, 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 you know, not that kind of stuff. I'm talking about like, like in-depth stuff, like the laws, the, like 60% of the laws in this country are terrible. <laughs> the other 40% aren't. For example, speeding laws. Yeah, you know, you're, you're going to get an accident if you, um, you know, if you're speeding, that's just for safety. Like, that's good. But it's like, your parents have control of you until you're 18. Now that's a crappy law. It's like... Does the anarchy still exist anymore? I want to revive anarchy. I want to make it a, a, a thing. And I'm not talking about like the chaotic uh, bur car burning um, anarchy. I'm talking about like the anarchy that's like freedom. Not freedom like you can go out on the street and then stab somebody. Not like that. There will still be a government, but it's going to be more free. Like, um, I don't know. Trying to think of an example. Like you see, um there's some families like fundamental Christians and they like to take their kids uh like to church and stuff. But what if the kid was did had to believe in differently or was like agnostic or something? You know, like what about that? For example, he should have the choice and the right if he wanted to attend church or not. The top of my Coke can fell off. But yeah, stay ambitious people, because if you're not, it's going to kill you. Alright, see you next time.